up here. Hello? Is someone there? took a guy, a five guys girl, Emma's age, to his apartment when I was going to donate blood, man. They both had five guys hat, and this girl looked like Emma. And I said, hey, do you work at five guys? And she was a black girl, so she was kind of mean to the white man. But then she got up out of her seat and went and sat next to another guy, a black guy, with a, the older Travis guy, Scott man, with a five guy shirt. Hat. So we all got off at the bus on Westridge by the Taco Bell, and they walked to them apartments together. And I told them, I, my daughter told me, five guys is out on West Main. I don't know what y'all are doing out on West Main. about how those eight people were killed. Hey, Erica. Hi, Kate. You hear me? Devastating stuff here. The oldest victim was 27 years old. The youngest, 14. Investigators say when Scott took the stage Friday night, the crowd of more than 50,000 rushed forward. Some people in the audience were crushed, Emma. while others were desperately trying to get Scott's attention. <coughs> well, it was a young girl built like Emma. Cell phone video well, shows a panicked festival so girl pleading for hey, help from a camera you know, operator, you know daughter, but the show would go on for almost 40 minutes after officials declared a mass casualty event. Video shows first responders five guys treating the injured, but they got off at the lot at they the stop right around the corner from Taco Bell, and I watched them. They walked down the alley and into them junk apartments. Scott posted a video on Instagram Saturday saying he's unaware of the severity of the situation in the crowd. Houston, she earlier than that, I got at the blood bank at 7:30, man. These motherfuckers are doing that shit early in the morning with kids that ain't that are supposed to be in school. It was a cooperation yeah. and discussion between promoters, uh, my fire department, the police department. Both Scott and the concert promoters at Live Nation said they are cooperating with local authorities. The rapper announcing today he will cover the funeral costs for all eight victims. A representative says Scott is also providing free mental health services for those affected by this tragedy. A tragedy indeed, Kate. Yeah, Erica, you never expected Some rapper that thinks he's better than the Big Ten right. Foot well, and everybody slaughtered Houston, everybody Houston at the is concert because he's a no good on nigger. On hold for Billy Joel's concert there next year. Tickets were expected to go on sale this Friday ahead of the show in 2022. He ain't got but no Mary Magdalene. He ain't got no Mary of Nazareth. For the Houston he's a fucking jerky queer motherfucking nigger that think he can rap about drugs, think he can rap about underwear, in a motherfucking car. Wait till I pick up six strings and talk with my stick, nigga. I'm gonna get the Ray Charles heroin. I'm gonna get the Elvis pill. I'm gonna get the hair band alcohol. I'm gonna get the cocaine and the Jimi Hendrix LSD. I'm gonna get the motherfucking rock and roll ticket, baby. He's known for some of his hits, including Taken On Back and Little Bit Of You. Tulip Time isn't until Saturday, May 14th, but tickets for this concert go on sale tomorrow at tuliptime.com. And Christina and I were listening to his music earlier today. <laughs> Excited for Tulip Time already. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, we are a little bit closer to a couple other holidays, right? 16 days until Thanksgiving, hard to believe. And then we are 46 days away from Christmas. Christmas. We will have oh, some Christmas-like weather in the forecast later this week and this weekend. But in the meantime, a couple of nice November macaroni days. That's cheese, just right Velveeta, about moving and in cheese. for your tomorrow. So this definitely brings That's way it. more clouds than what we had going on today. And even a few rain showers tomorrow afternoon through tomorrow evening, especially the farther south and east you travel. Then we dry out on Wednesday. Wednesday is a really nice day, similar to today, uh, though it will only be in the middle 50s. Notice the big changes on our Celiata Group 7-day forecast for the okay, remainder of the week. I know what we have to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. And then it just turns wintry thereafter. Oh, with what a gal was some. So you know a little bit of both. It's here. Oh, it's what a gal <laughs> was she. Earlier, you know, if you live in Michigan, her husband was born exactly. near yeah, Easter morn <laughs> and God. <laughs>
week. Hal says through partnerships with Bethany Hello. Christian and Santa Claus, the community has pledged to assist up to 7 hours today? No, I work for a lot of people every day. It's a goddamn lie. I work for lunch hours. Putting on the Ritz. Putting on the Ritz. Because of our 99% success rate and our caring and experienced lawyers who want to 